Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Proactivity Open Arduino Compatible Industrial Controller Starter Kit Unboxing. Now detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. Now what you'll see here is we'll look at our starter kit, which is right here. And this particular model we have a part number uh, P1AM-START1 and in the kit you can see here uh, we have our Rhino power supply, um, our general purpose I.O. shield, our Ethernet shield, the actual CPU itself and then we have an analog uh, input and output from the Proactivity 1000 series PLC I.O. cards. And then we have a programming cable right here. So let's uh, open this up. And here we go in the box. And we'll take this out. And we have our main unit right here. We have our connecting cables. So, okay, and I emptied everything we have in the box out. Put that aside. So here's my um, instruction sheets. Okay, so here's everything I have in the box. And what we look like we have is this is our this is our Proactivity Open P1AM-100 PRO Open. And you see we have a switch here, and we have a power. Uh, we have a power. We have a base. LED and we have an LED light. We have a reset button and we have our USB connector and we have a uh, micro USD memory card here. And what you'll see is that uh, on the side here, this is my uh, port and you see this is my communication for my Proactivity 1000 series controllers. You see on the back here, this is all DIN rail mountable. Let me pull these down, mount them. And you see on the side here, we have a little clip. We pull that out. We lift this handle up, and we can actually pull that right out. So again, there's my uh, communication. Then on the card itself, on these are the actual I/O card that we can use for any of our. Our projects that we want to work on. Underneath the hood here you will see on the unit you see a barcode. That barcode will take you to the latest specifications on this particular card. And you can see my, my screw terminal will actually fit right in here. And then what we have is again we have our shields that we set before. And you can see here's my pins for my expandable shields. This is my power supply. If I had a power supply that I was going to add to that. Again, opening up the clips here. We can pull this apart. And again, here's my communication bus and then my uh, shields pins. And once again, we can pull this apart. And that is my Ethernet shield. So my Ethernet shield, then we have our main CPU. So again, on our general purpose I.O., I can put that connector in. And they are screw terminals. We see that it also can come in uh, spring terminals if I wish. And this is my power, which will be located right here. It comes out into the bottom. 
So let's, again, let's put this back together. You'll notice that all your shields will go to the left side of the CPU. And we push that in and we lock them down into place with the clips. Put it together, lock it down. And then on our right side is where all of our Productivity 1000 will actually connect. And we can lock that down. So there we go. So there looks like our unit as it comes in our pre-assembled package. So let's also look at um, our power supply. It comes with the kit. So this is a Rhinos power supply and it provides um, 1.25 amps at 24 volt DC and we're powered by 100 to 240 volt uh, AC current. So that we'll use that and again you can see it's DIN rail mountable so that we can mount that on our DIN rail very easily. Then we'll take a look at our cables. Our kit comes with a USB cable. Now this looks like this is a micro USB and it will program into my CPU. And then we have our power cable which will then go from to our Rhino to power up our Rhino and then our 24 volt will then connect to the connector under our Pro or our Productivity Open to power it up. So Looks like we have everything we need to to uh, wire and test our productivity. And if we look under the instructions, we have our our P1AM Arduino 100 uh, Maker compatible PLC. And again, we have a link to GitHub and a link to the full additional resources on the website. And it just talks about some of the locking mechanisms that we have on it. Then we have our uh, P1AM Ethernet card. This is our Arduino Maker Compatible Shield. So this is our um, Ethernet card right here. And again, specifications and links to each of the uh, software programs. Then we have our Maker compatible shield for our um, general purpose I.O. Again, links to uh, the website. And then finally we have our analog in and out from the Productivity 1000 series of PLCs. So very nice package that uh, we have here and we're all set to program once we wired it up. Now, traditionally, Arduino would run from an analog I.O. of 0 to 3.3 volts um, on your I.O. And since we are on a uh, P1AM, the productivity open, it will actually take the full range of analog 0 to 20, 1 to 10, and it can do uh, RTD and we can do pulse width modulation. And wiring options, typically on the Arduino, we would have screw type terminals. And now we can we offer the, the uh, screw as well as the spring loaded on this series of controller. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free ebooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button to get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.